Hey everybody, welcome back to the Sports Card Show. It's been um, quite a while since my last video, but uh, I did want to take the time to show you guys something that I think is pretty cool and that I think would be uh, pretty helpful to you in uh, in your collecting if you're interested in um, data around the most active sports cards um, at any given moment in time. So. Um, the site I've got up here is the Sports Card Investor, and um, this this site is um, based around uh, a tool that is a fairly um, sophisticated um, like pricing information tool where you can look up pricing on cards um, and plot a lot of sort of uh, data points. Um, in the history of a of the pricing of a card, um, you can save cards in your uh, collection so that you're always got them, always got the you know pricing that comes up um, when you log in. But what I want to show you is actually a free part of this site that I I think um, a lot of people probably don't really know about, but um, I stumbled upon uh, maybe a few months ago, or a couple months ago, and 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 I use it pretty regularly, so. Um, I thought I'd show it to you guys because I think um, a lot of people probably have the same sort of um, need for the kind of information that I get from this um, as I do. So, um, you know, one of my one of my favorite things um, about uh, Beckett magazine, which sort of, you know, back like 15, 20 years ago was the, you know, the um, the sort of uh, Bible of the hobby in terms of pricing. But, um, you know, the the relevance of the pricing that's in Beckett magazine has been pretty much zero for a couple of decades. But um, one of the things that I, I thought was always very hot, uh, well, I'm sorry, very hot, it was very good um, about them is their hot list. And um, in each, uh, uh, you know, sport version of, of Beckett, so the basketball Beckett, they'll have like the, uh, I think it's like the 20, hottest cards um you know organized from one through 20 and you can kind of see what uh which cards and and which players are um, increasing the most at that particular time now you know beckett has a lot of limitations because it's like a monthly magazine and um you know obviously the the information is going to get stale quickly they it can't really you know reflect immediate move, movements in the market if a you know particular card is spiking so it's really never been that useful but it's always interesting to see especially for sports that i don't follow that often um or that much um but i always thought that was very interesting and what we've got here in um this feature of the sports card investor main page um the trending cards section is essentially like a real-time hot list for the market um, of sports cards and that's pretty amazing because nobody is really doing this you know uh, cardboard connection has like a a list of the hottest play you know sports uh figures players from all different sports that they organize you know like one through ten but that that's that's pretty r rough information um that's not very specific and um, you know, they don't really show you sort of, you know, pricing data very uh, in a very easy to digest way as part of that. So, you know, there are other lists like that out there, but they're all very, I think, rudimentary. And what this is, is something I think just, you know, a few levels more advanced than any of those other lists out there. Basically, what you have here is a list that shows the hottest cards based on the um, percentage in price movement in the past seven day period. Um, they actually uh, used to have uh, a feature where you could pick the um, period of time that is looked at to create this list. So it could be the last seven days, the last 14 days, last 30 days, and you can get that in the um, in their paid tool, but it's fairly expensive. Um, so you know, the, the casual collector is probably not going to be super interested in paying that price just to get that feature. But looking just at the last seven days is actually quite, you know, useful. It shows the most 
recent, that's actually the, the shortest time frame that Sports Card Investor and their Market Movers tool, which is what that paid tool is called, that's the shortest period of time that it can look at. So it can't do like three days. It can only do seven days. So that's the most recent, you know, um, grouping of data that's available. So, you know, that's often kind of what you want is in the last seven days, what, what are the what are the cards that have gone up most in value? And that's what this list is. And so you see the cards here. Um, there's, you know, five cards that show up here. But if you look, um, oops, <laughs> uh, I've scrolled a little too much, but, you know, you can just kind of click this way. You know, it's, you know, you can go all the way to whatever this goes to. I don't know, probably like a thousand or something. Um, looks like it kind of like stops giving like uh, useful data at some point in there, but I'm sure it goes to about a hundred or so. Um, actually, it goes to 400, 500 at least probably. So um, this is so this is just I think a, a really interesting thing. I mean, at any given day, you can check out this list and see what the hottest card over the last seven days is um, based on you know what percentage of its price. So you'll see things like Joe Musgrove, who just throw a no hitter, and this is his you know base rookie card autographed chrome. Um, you know, it spikes up a lot because it was probably worth like, you know, two cents before he threw that no hitter. Now it's worth like whatever. Well, and let's actually click. It'll sh it'll show you recent sales. Um, you know, now it's up to 49.75. So um, that 49.75 is still a pretty cheap card, but it's 972% more than it was seven days before. And it's probably worth like $2 before I have to actually go look um, to see if I have any Joe Musgrove autos. Uh, to sell them because uh, as much as it's great that he threw a no hitter, I can't imagine he's going to be, you know, Clayton Kershaw or any of the pitchers, the maybe two, three pitchers that are worth anything. Um, but you know, another you know example is Akil Badu, who had a huge um, spike in value, but just because his cards started so low in value that you know now they're worth two hundred dollars. Like this one, I think is two hundred dollars. Um, PSA ten is worth you know seven and and look at this. this is recent sales here you click now for buy it now you see what's actually on the market so uh and there's a charts thing that will show you know price movement so this shows the huge spike you know since uh, march 20th when it's like worth nothing um so th this is just really i think useful and unique information that um you can't get anywhere else and that's free so i mean you know what could be better than that um so if you don't really care about uh, certain sports, you can see, okay, just basketball cards. What are just the ba hottest basketball cards? Um, and uh, it doesn't renumber them, unfortunately. So you see the first, you know, highest ranked basketball is, is number seven and everything else is baseball because baseball's picking up right now with, you know, the season getting underway. Um, but uh, maybe you want to look at uh, hockey. Um, and I see, oh, okay, yeah, it's got both hockey and uh, and uh, basketball selected, so we get rid of basketball, and then we've just got hockey. So, I, I don't know, this thing is, I, I think, really cool. Um, and, uh, you know, if you're wondering, like, if you have a collection that's a lot of cards, a lot of players, and you're just sort of wondering, you know, what's a good thing to sell right now because it's appreciated a lot, uh, you know, this will tell you. Um, I do wish it would, you know, it would tell you, you'd be able to see, uh, well, actually, you know, it shows the 30 day trend uh, percentage wise, but you can't organize this, um, you know, this list of cards based on, uh, growth in the last 30 days. Um, but, uh, having the data of the 30 day price rate, uh, price, um, change is I think useful. So, you know, I mean, you know, look at this card. I don't have any, I don't have any of this card. I don't have any of this card. I got a ton of this card, um, you know, and in the past 30 days, it's up 25%. The past seven days, it's up 23%. So a lot of the gain in the last 30 days has happened in the last seven days. Um, but, you know, just go recent sales. And, like, you know, if I wanted to sell one of these PSA 10s that I've got a lot of, you know, I could, looks like I get about 250 for it. And, you know, that was probably much closer to 200 uh, uh, maybe three, four weeks ago. And I remember during the off season, these were really getting low in price um, back when everybody was piling into um, Juan Soto rookie cards from this set. Um, so, you know, might be a good time to sell this one. Um, 
uh, another thing that I thought was interesting is the Shoyotani. Obviously, he's doing really well. Um, and, and, you know, it's, uh, let's see. Yeah, so they don't really indicate like a grade or whether it's raw or anything. It's like, I think, overall uh, price increase for like all of the different versions. So this one's got PSA 10, PSA 8, 9, and BGS 9.5. And some cards, they will track raw prices as well, but they don't for this one. Um, and that's probably because it's a it's a fairly low end card as a as a raw card. Um, so, oops, sorry, didn't mean to click on that. But it, yeah, you can see it takes you to the um, it takes you to the the eBay page for each of these listings, which is cool. If you're you know if you're buying, you can um, go directly to eBay and, and and see the listings that show up in here. So, um, yeah, this is I don't know. This is I just I, I've I've this is a, since I found this, I thought it was. Super useful and super cool, especially if you like those, you know, old Beckett style hot lists that I used to love. Um, you know, and I, sometimes I'll just go on here and I'll just, you know, go all the way. It's interesting to see Raphael Devers. You know, he's a guy that a lot of people were pretty excited about coming into the year, um, but his cards were pretty low priced, so you know they're starting to starting to go up, and it's good to know that. Um, you know, if he's not on this list, then you know I'm not gonna check to see his values and, um, you know, sort of forget about him until he gets more interesting. Keston here, this is an interesting one to see because I've got, I think I have a bunch of these guys off for grading right now. Um, and then for some of the um, higher value cards, like I bet this one will show raw pricing. No, no raw pricing. This one, yeah, so this one has a ton of different varieties because it, you know, it's a card that for which there's a high population of many different grades and there's also a lot of raw sales um so you can see that and if you you know have cards that are raw and uh we all have raw cards now that are probably going to be graded for a long time because psa shut down um it's useful to see that data this one has raw too it's a lower price card at least at the raw level so 22 to 32 dollars are the these are the recent sales so again you just look at recent sales or you're going to buy now um yeah, so I mean, you know, that's that's what I've got to say about this. I think it's a really cool tool. I hope they keep it up on their website for a while. <laughs> um, maybe if too many people are using it for free and not uh, subscribing to their pay service, they won't. But, um, you know, until then, uh, get what you can out of it. Um, in terms of the, you know, value of uh, their paid market movers tool, you know, I've been a subscriber of that since they started. Um and honestly, I don't really use it that much. I mean, it is handy when you need it. Um, and, you know, if you put, like, cards that you want to keep close tabs on and just sort of see how they're doing on a week-to-week -week basis, it's very handy for that. Um, but, uh, you know, for the average collector, it's probably not worth the price. If you're doing a lot of um, buying and selling and you really want to know when it's the right time to sell things or when things have, you know, gone up or down a lot, it's, it's a very handy tool for that, for sure. Um, but personally, I don't use it a lot. Um, I still subscribe to it just because, I, I, you know, I don't know. It's I, I like to have it available um, it, when I do need it. And at some point, I may, you know, put some time into learning uh, a bit more about it and, um, and, and becoming more of an expert on it, getting a little better value out of it. But, you know, for now, I'm <laughs> content to not do that. So um, like one thing I want to do is maybe search by... Um, Search by player, so you can see like you know the all the cards of Acuna that show up in this um, list, and uh, that's kind of useful. So yeah, I don't know, really like this, but I just want to share this with you guys because I, I you know I think it's really a cool way to get a snapshot of what's you know what's hot in the market, um, and there's really other than just sort of you know kind of like doing constant shopping on eBay. Um, there's not a great way to, I think, get this kind of data in a nice, easy to, um, consume, uh, way. So I, you know, hats off to sports card investor for making this available and, and I hope you, uh, you get some use out of it. Um, that's what I've got for today. Uh, I will be trying to do some more videos. Um, I want to do a video on, um, on like, uh, shipping costs and how to send cards the most cost-effective way um, from, you know, individual cards to, um, to, to, you know, small box, like 300 count boxes, all the way to unopened boxes of wax that, you know, are 
generally the kind of bulkiest thing that you, you send in sports cards. Um, so I'll be sharing uh, some, something about that hopefully in the next few weeks um, and other, you know, smaller videos that, that may come up um, before then. So uh, hopefully you're subscribed already. If you're not, please hit that subscribe button. If you enjoyed this video, uh, hit the like button and it'll help other people uh, find this. So thanks so much for watching. Catch y'all later. Have a great one. Bye.